In the first grade, my teacher, Mrs. Lil Butts. Hey, Mrs. Lil Butts, what's up? <laughs> She got us all together for Father's Day and asked us to make Father's Day cards for our dads. And I remember going up to her all embarrassed and close to tears, asking her what I was supposed to do because I didn't have a dad to make a Father's Day card for. And she just told me it was okay and that I could make a Father's Day card for my mom instead. And pretty much since then, I haven't really thought about needing a dad. I. I didn't feel a hole in my life growing up where my dad was. Growing up, I had alternative father figures in my life, but I wouldn't say that any of them really felt like a dad to me. I had my mom, of course, who acted as both my mom and my dad. It's questionable whether or not she was good at either of those roles, but she's what I had and uh, we made it work. <laughs> I had my older brothers, two of which were the masculine figures in my life for most of my life. Whether or not they were good examples probably is arguable as well, <laughs> although they're much better examples now that they're adults. Then I had my sister's dad. Our family is weirdly blended and crazy complicated, but basically for my childhood, my sister's dad acted kind of as if he was my dad for as long as I can remember. Most of our family photos have him in it, but he left my mom when I was in elementary school for a 16 year old girl. <laughs> um, he was an adult and he was also and remains to be an alcoholic for my entire childhood. So he wasn't a particularly good father figure either. After him, my mom had a series of boyfriends, most of them trash. Um, the longest standing one was also a drug addict and he actually OD'd um, a couple years after I moved out of my mom's house. So although I had a series of male figures that kind of filled that fatherly role for me in a hodgepodge type of way, none of them were really a dad to me. But the thing is, it all worked out okay. I didn't need a dad and I don't need a dad now because I have myself and I have my friends and I had good teachers and other people who could fill those paternal and even maternal roles for me that weren't filled as a child. I found strength within myself to fill those roles. And I know that that can be hard for a lot of people, but I'm making this video for people like me who grew up without a dad, who grew up without good paternal or maternal figures in their lives and were more affected by it than I was. I am in no way shitting on dads by making this video. I just want to put it out there that dads are nice to have. They're not a necessity. And in fact, I think having a bad dad in your life can have a worse impact on you than having no dad at all. And maybe the reason why I am who I am today and I am successful and happy and have a good community of people around me and have been able to make it out of the arguably terrible childhood <laughs> I grew up with is because my dad wasn't around. My dad was an alcoholic and a drug addict and he left my mom when she was pregnant. So. He really hasn't been around for my entire life. I don't even know if he's alive right now. I don't even know where he lives. I don't even have his phone number if I wanted to call him. Dad should be a caring figure in your life. They should take care of you. They should love you. They should offer you advice. They should want to spend time with you, want to learn about you, want to grow and develop you just as much as a mom should. In my opinion, there is no need for us to have moms and dads. We just need to have caring, loving people in our lives. Whether or not that figure is masculine or feminine is really irrelevant to me. And that's why for any dads out there who are trying to make things work, trying to be a good parent, just try not to be a shitty dad. <laughs> Easier said than done, I'm sure, but the thing is, when you decide to have kids, you are taking on a big responsibility. And that's a responsibility that you need to take care of. You have to be a parent to your children. 
You have to, otherwise you just shouldn't be having kids. So dads, don't be bad. <laughs> Spend time with your kids, be around them, be present, be the best version of yourself that you can possibly be. Try to grow and learn and be a better person. Don't stay stuck in your habits. Don't scream at your kids. Don't hit your kids. Don't be impatient with your kids to the best of your ability. Be the best dad that you can possibly be. That being said, kids have compassion and understanding for your dad. I don't know my dad. I don't even particularly like my dad or at least the version of him that I'm aware of. But for my dad to have so many problems, even into his old age, I mean, he's gotta be in his 60s now if he's still alive, and to be an alcoholic and a drug addict, and not really to have gone anywhere in life, to be living a, a happy life, as far as I know. Some crazy shit must have happened to him when he was younger. He must have had a really hard life. And it's my responsibility as an adult now, a child of my father, but still an adult, it's my responsibility to understand that and have compassion for him and hope that he gets his life together and figured out. As children, we should be understanding of our parents, but that doesn't mean that we have to accept abusive behavior from your father or your mother. I hate this idea that if we are children, if we are blood relatives of someone, then that means that we have to accept them, we have to love them, we have an obligation or responsibility to them. And that's just not the case. They have a responsibility to us, but we did not ask to be brought into this world, so <laughs> it's not on us to make them happy. They're adults, they make their own decisions, and they decided to have children, even if it was unintentional. So for me, and for a lot of other people out there without dads, I think we have to ask ourselves, would our childhood have been better off with our dads in it? And the answer for me is a clear no. I was around enough drugs and alcohol growing up, I don't think adding my dad into the picture would have helped at all. And I definitely don't think the dynamic between him and my mom, who is a very toxic person, would have been good. So would my childhood and would your childhood have been better off with your dad? Probably not. If he's not in your life, there's probably a reason he's not in your life. And he's probably not the kind of person that you wanna be spending time with. He's probably not the person that would add a lot of value to your life. Would your childhood have been better off with a dad in general? Maybe, but also probably not. Dads don't make a difference. Dads aren't the key ingredient. Dads aren't some magical thing to add to our lives to make us happy and make things go well and give us success. But would your life have been better or would your childhood have been easier had you had a good dad? Probably. Having good people around you who are kind and compassionate and understanding and want to spend time with you and care about you always add value to your life, whether or not they're a maternal, a paternal, or some other figure that's unrelated to you at all. So if you have a good dad in your life or you are a good dad, be grateful for yourself, for your kids, for your parents, because not everybody has that privilege. But if you don't have a good dad in your life or you don't have a dad at all, there's no need to be bitter or jealous or angry of others who have something that you don't. There are many things I'm sure that you have that others don't and all we can do is be grateful and happy for the things that we do have. Learn how to love yourself with or without your dad. Learn how to empower yourself and be your own paternal figure, and learn how to surround yourself with positive, good, caring people in your life who can be mentors in a way that maybe a dad would have been had you had one. 